What's going on, guys? July 4th. First and foremost, happy holidays, guys. Hopefully, everybody has a fun and safe day. But my God, when it comes to sports betting, I'm truly one of the best in the industry. Look at the numbers, guys. Updated numbers. Another 3-0 and day. I'll go ahead and put the exact text that went out to clients. You guys see it every single video. Uh, a 3-0 and day. We did have a tie in there. Astros. First five innings money line was a, was a push, so came up short on one bet. Uh, got the money back there, but a three and zero day, twenty three and seven in the MLB over ten days, closing in on almost twenty units of profit in that time span. Uh, so bet continues to be good as well, uh, m- more than good. So I mean, it's crazy, guys. That so bet link, don't forget it. That's also down in the description. That's only one pick a day. It is not my full card. It's not all my picks every single day. One pick every single day, but look at those numbers, guys. In 64% winning percentage, over 81 days of betting. It's just truly, truly crazy what I've been providing on that SoBet platform. That's less than a dollar a day. I'm pretty sure everybody on earth would sign up for that type of winning for less than a dollar a day. So something to consider if you're looking at more of a cost-effective option to get some exposure to premium plays. But if you want to just stop fucking around, if you want to seriously win money, guys, I've said it for weeks. I even said it when I was ice cold back in the middle of June. We had a nice little hot stretch uh, end of May into June and then got cold in the middle of June. And I told you guys the way baseball works, because I've done this for over a decade now, you got to wait for that sample size to build. You got to wait for the teams that started the season hotter than projected to cool off. You got to wait for the teams that based on their roster, based on numbers, based on all these factors, they should be good. These teams that start out slow are teams you guys need to be betting now, even when people are not expecting them. There's four or five teams in the mix, good ball clubs that are going to be winning lots of baseball games throughout the remainder of the season, and people are not paying attention. They're going to keep just putting their money on the Yankees and the Guardians and the Phillies. Things change. Injuries, roster, there's a lot of stuff, a lot of moving parts in the sport of baseball. If you guys aren't already cashing for multiple, multiple years, if you don't already have an established track record to make sure you're not going to lose your ass in this industry, then just sign up for my picks, man. I'm cheap. I don't price gouge. I could easily charge the industry average. You guys always see my numbers. Uh, I've gone from 500 subscribers to over 6,000 right here on just the YouTube platform in less than half a year for a reason, okay? There's ebbs and flows, there's wins and losses, but overall, my numbers are some of the best. I've been through it all. I've learned the hard way. Um, Guys, sign up. Link in the description, danspicks.net. It's as simple as that. You can get an entire week of my picks for $29, $29. You're really going to potentially ruin your 4th of July and lose money, kill your buzz while you're trying to party with your friends, don't do it, guys. I got you. I got you today. In today's video, we're going to go over every single game against the spread, the total, every single piece of information I can possibly give you so you have a more enjoyable 4th of July. I'm going to try to do that for you guys. Uh, But seriously, and, 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 and seriously, like everybody take a step back and really think about it. How many videos of my channel are you going to watch before you're on the team? And if you were on it before and maybe you took a break, you got to get back on board because you can't miss the hot streaks like this. This is what puts money in pockets. You can't win every single day, but you got to get the money while the getting's good. And I'll tell you what, today's slate, it's got some home runs on it. And I'm not talking literally, I'm just talking some really, really good bets. It's going to be an excellent day. One of the better 4th of July slates I've ever seen in baseball. They did it right this year. They They kind of switched up Monday with the travel and they got everything nice and organized. So 4th of July is going to pan out to be potentially one of the biggest days of the year, which is extremely rare because you always want to have extra caution on a holiday, Uh, but not this year. It's going to be an excellent day. There's some home run picks out there where the line is just, it's off. It's off by one or two. Um, It's crazy. There's, there's a couple home runs out there and we're going to be going for those in premium Uh, guys jump on board, grab that full month, save yourself some money. It's not even hundred bucks, man. Everybody's probably spending hundred bucks on the 4th of July. Spend a little bit more, break out that credit card, hop on the website, become part of the team. You see the text, you see the comments from clients in the description below. Everybody's happy. We're all cashing. We're all in profit uh, month after month, after month, after month. It just builds up, pays for your subscription. 
it's a no brainer at this point in time. Um, I think that's pretty much it. I'm going to hit you guys with a bonus parlay today as well. At the end of today's video, I'm just going to kind of go back through the slate. We'll backtrack a little. We'll put a whole bunch of stuff together and we'll try to come up with a plus 1000 or better parlay for everybody to tail. Uh, of course, be responsible. That is not something that has a high percentage of hitting. Uh, so maybe just put like five or 10 bucks on it. It's just for fun, but we'll see what we can do. Let's go ahead and pull up the slate here. Uh, I actually might down, I might write down a couple things in today's video. So I'm going to get some fresh paper out. You guys should too, man. All these videos, you should just get a pen, get some paper, just get ready to go, man. When Dan's rants is rocking and rolling, you got to fucking listen. You got to write down shit. I mean, this is serious, man. This is like two, three, four, ten 10 years from now. Um, you know, there, there's a very good chance you're going to be like, you know what? I used to listen to that guy, that guy that was on the news the other day for his historical winning streak and his, all his Lamborghinis and mansions. I used to listen to him when he only had a couple thousand people on YouTube. MLB, July 4th. Let's get after it. Enough funny business. Because we are all business when it comes to sports betting. Every single day. Doesn't matter how good your winning streak is, how bad your cold streak is. You got to bet the same fucking way every day. You got to show up and look at the slate. And you got to attack that shit every fucking day like your life depends on it. And if you don't have this killer instinct, this discipline to absolutely get after it every single day like it's your last you're not going to make it. It's just what it is. It's baseball. Game one here. We got an early game. Probably not going to touch it. FYI, it's an 11 a.m. game, July 4th. I don't know, man. It's uh, It just could be kind of a weird game here. Probably look at the under, to be honest. It's an early game. It's a holiday. Uh, maybe the mindsets of these players are a little bit elsewhere. They're just looking to get the game over with. They have the whole rest of the day. I'm sure they have parties to get to. Uh, all sorts of you know social plans for these players, uh, big time guys here. So uh, I wouldn't be surprised at all if the engagement uh, is a little bit low here. But at the same time, that could go for pitching. We got the Mets. We got the Nationals. Quintana and Irvin. Don't love Irvin, man. Uh, so that does make me a little bit hesitant on that underplay. Uh, but Quintana, ah, man, I'd rather have him at home. The Mets bats have been good. Uh, but this line is just really, really sketchy. I mean, the Mets have been so good lately. They're only minus 110 on the money line. I'm going to look at the Nationals. I think they can get a game here, uh, even as bad as Irvin is. Um, like I said, it's just going to be kind of a fluky day for some of these games. Some are going to be much, much different. I can tell you that for a fact. i uh, been through this many, many times before. But the Mets Nationals, probably going to lean Nationals to finally get a dub here in this series. And uh, I'll lean under the total of nine and a half. Next game down, we got the Cards, we got the Pirates. Uh, Palante and Perez, man, I think we got to look over here. It's still sort of an early game in pit. Uh, the weather should be fine. Um, don't love either the starting pitching. Uh, I, I definitely don't like the Pirates bats. Maybe look at a Cardinals team total over just so you don't have to worry about getting some offensive production from the Pirates. There's some games where it just doesn't show up. Uh, this could be one of those. Um, so maybe look at a Cardinals team total over in this game uh, and the overall over for the game to go over as that Pirates bullpen just is, is, is trash. Reds, Yankees, man, uh, everybody keeps just, you know, people are still betting the Yankees like it's the Yankees that we knew, you know, a couple weeks ago. It's not the same team. Same with the Phillies. Things change. Padres, all Texas Rangers, all Tampa Bay Rays. These are all different. It's all different, guys. You cannot be just right. You what? So we're just going to be able to bet a team that seems like they win every single game just for eternity for the whole season. And we're all rich. No, it does not work that way. Uh, Reds are plus 150 here. Stroman on the mound. Uh, I do like Stroman a little better than Rodon, but man, this is a guy that can have three, four clean innings and then get fucking shelled, fucking absolutely nuclear blasted. And that does scare me here. One really nasty inning. The Reds could get two or three. Uh, I do expect the Yankees offense to show up in this one. I'd probably be looking over the total of eight and a half in this one. Astros, Jays, Bassett on the mound, Valdez. You know, Framber Valdez, man, there's been a couple starts in the mix where I think he has a chance to pitch very well, at least give us five or six good innings, uh, and it just hasn't happened. Astros are minus 120. The offenses look good, um, but Bassett's been decent. I don't know, man. Uh, gut feeling, it's kind of a stay away. 
because I don't want to go against Valdez and, and have him actually show up and pitch one of those nice games where he gives us a solid, solid, you know, six, a good solid six innings of baseball uh, from the pitcher's mound, you know, maybe keeping the Jays to one or two runs. Um, I don't know, a little bit of a sketchy game, but I think Bassett can do well here. Maybe look at the under for the entire game at eight and a half. White Sox Guardians here. Uh, I don't see a starting pitcher in the mix for the White Sox. I do see Lively uh, projected to go on the mound for the Guardians. Um, obviously, the White Sox are off the win. Um, I don't know, man. It, it, th this is a really, really hard prediction for me without knowing who's going to pitch for the White Sox because depending on the starter for the White Sox, I mean, obviously, you guys see how good Fetty does. We've seen Garrett Crochet this year. But then you get like Chris Flexen and some of these other guys and they stink. So it's 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 a really, really hard prediction for me to make. Uh, but maybe look at the Cleveland Cleveland Guardians lineup uh, to heat up here. OK, regardless of starting pitching, they can definitely get to the White Sox in the bullpen. Maybe look at a team total over for the Cleveland Guardians. Tigers twins here. Pretty good series. Pretty competitive. Uh, Kenta Maeda going against Ober. I think Ober's due for a good start. I'm not going to overthink it, man. Uh, I think the Tigers got the dub today, uh, so I'm not going to overthink this one. Probably just Twins lay the full run line. It's plus money. It's plus 106. I think the Twins can have a decent game. I think Ober against that Tigers lineup uh, can go 5-6 here minimum. So, yeah, I, I'm kind of liking the Twins in this spot. Don't love my eight on the mound for the Tigers. If it was uh, if it was Scooble or Flaherty or someone, I'd have a little different opinion, but it's not. Probably go Twins there, run line. Red Sox, Marlins here, uh, Pavetta versus Tyler. I don't know, man. It's just, again, I've said it so many times. I want to bet the Red Sox when they're playing a better opponent as an underdog on the road. That's just the spot I like for the Red Sox. Marlins, July 4th in Florida. It's probably hot as shit. You know, you're probably trying to go out in Miami after this game. It's July 4th. You're in fucking Miami. Talk about distractions. I mean, damn. Under? Under for the game, man. These dudes are just going to go pop bottles. And uh, and uh, I probably shouldn't even go there. Don't want to get the YouTube channel banned. Guys, professional athletes, all that money. Miami, July 4th. I think there's going to be some distractions in this game. Give me the under of 8.5. Next game down here, Phillies Cubs. Um under, under again, even though it's seven and a half. Uh, but Tyone's on the mound for the Cubs. Don't love him. Uh, Sanchez on the mound for the Phillies. Eh, not too bad. Not great. Not my favorite, uh, but not bad. Okay, I'd probably look at the Phillies here. You could look at the run line for the Phillies. Uh, minus one and a half for the Phillies is plus 130. That's not a bad price. This is not the same Phillies team, okay, due to injuries and things that have been shaken up recently. Uh, but if you have to play this game, probably the way I look, maybe look at an under, but it's seven and a half, not a lot of value there. Padres, Rangers, uh, Rangers, the team I just really don't want to bet against, man. They're a team I want to bet on, but they're also facing the Padres that have been uh, much, much better over the last few weeks here. Uh, two solid teams. I, I can't wait till we get these two teams versus teams that have overachieved to this point in the season, and then it'll be a home run swing. Uh, here, I don't know. I'm kind of looking to the Padres. Uh, King on the mound, plus 114. They're plus money. I'd probably go Padres money line. Scherzer, sure, big name. We all know the guy. Great career. I don't know. Not the same guy. The Velo, a lot of things are different. Uh, give me the Padres money line, plus 114. Angels Athletics, I, it's just like so hard to give an opinion. I mean, these, these teams suck. Uh, but J.P. Sears is going here for the Athletics, and I like that enough. Athletics, Oakland, money line. Minus 118, only way I'd play the game. Uh, we got the Orioles. We got the Mariners. I'm not sure what the score is right now as I record this video. I was thinking about playing the Mariners. I didn't end up doing it. You guys saw the text that went out to clients, so it was a non-play. Uh, but Corbin Burns here, man. Burns is going for the O's. We got Miller going for the Mariners. Miller's been a little bit uh, sketchy as of late. Um, I don't know, man. If the Mariners end up winning... I would like the Baltimore Orioles more. So we'll see what happens with tonight's game before I make an official choice here. Uh, but I'd probably maybe look at the team total under for the Mariners. I might look at a, a, a no-run first inning 
maybe in this game, maybe a little nerfy action with this one. How about that? Giants, Braves, Charlie Morton, Logan Webb. Uh, I do think we finally have a pitching matchup here. Uh, maybe where the Giants can actually get a dub in the first five innings. I would look at the San Francisco Giants first five money line in this one. Uh, I do think the Giants offense can get to Morton a little bit here. Uh, and if Logan Webb has the ground ball game working, uh, he might be able to get through this Braves lineup. Not too bad. So that's where I'd look. Brewers Rockies, just a horrible series. Uh, Myers on the mound, not terrible. Quantrill on the mound, been good, but I think due for some regression. I trust the Brewers offense here. Um, I don't know. Brewers, Brewers first five, just money line. It's going to be juicy, but who cares? A win is a win, right? It's the only way you can look in this game. Uh, maybe split your bet because the Rockies' uh, bullpen is just so horrible. If Quantrill does have another decent game here, uh, maybe the Brewers can get to him late. But I'd just be looking like, I don't know, team total over for the Brewers or something like that. Two more games, guys. We got the Rays. We got the Royals. A fantastic series. Two pretty good teams. Uh, it's just hard to bet this. This is just baseball you want to watch and you want to enjoy. It's at the end of the day. It's an 8 p.m. game. I'm sure you guys might be able to you know, be at a party and catch this one and just watch some good baseball and just enjoy it. Uh, so I don't recommend betting on a game like this that should be very, very competitive. Eflin on the mound for the Royals. Marsh on the mound for the Royals. Uh, or I'm sorry, uh, Eflin on the mound for the Rays, Rays and Royals, not Royals and Royals. Uh, Marsh on the mound for the Royals. Uh, I think both offenses will do just fine here. Give me the over eight and a half. I think this is for sure. I mean, this has got to be at least five to four. I think we could get extra innings here. Give me the over in that one. Zach Gallen on the mound for the D-backs on the road versus the Dodgers, and they are an underdog, and that is where I want to back them. Give me the Diamondbacks. Diamondbacks money line, I think, is the right play. Actually, maybe first five. Maybe Diamondbacks first five innings money line is the way I would round out that July 4th, Thursday slate. Of course, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Um, I'll tell you what. There are some lines in there. Not a ton. Some are complete stay away games, and it's almost just as valuable to get my premium picks to know what to avoid and not bet. But there's a couple slammers in there. We might even have a two uh, a, a two unit play today. We might have a max play. Um, but let's let's put together a little parlay. Let's have a little fun. Let's see if I can get you guys to plus a thousand or better. I'll write these down, and we'll kind of come up with something here. So we want to start off early. Let's go ahead and let's go with. Let's just go with the Yankees to get a win in New York on July 4th with Stroman on the mound. I don't love Montas starting for the red. So Yankees money line. Let's go. Uh, let's fade Valdez. Let's go blue Jays money line. Let's go with the under in. What was that? That Miami game, right? That's a for sure under, I think. Where was that game? Did they just take it off the board for a little bit? Some things change overnight, and sometimes they take it off the board. Nope, we're going to go under 8.5 for that one. Um, I got to sign into my account to get these odds. Hold on. Give you guys exact odds at the end of this. Uh, terms and conditions. New terms and conditions. What are we doing? We're ripping, ripping me off here. Uh, so what are we up to here? Okay, we're already up to plus 460. Um, what else are we going to go with? Uh, don't love Tyone here. Give me the Phillies money line. Give me the Padres money line. And uh, yeah, we're way over the limit here, guys. Five five leg parlay at plus two thousand. Uh, let me read them again here. We got the Yankees money line, Blue Jays money line at plus one hundred two. We got the under eight and a half in this Red Sox Marlins game. Phillies money line minus one twenty six and rounded out. With the Padres at plus 110. All that together is almost plus 2,000. And it actually is. It's plus 2,016. Uh, so if you guys risk $10, something very, very small. This is not very likely to hit. This is for fun for the holiday. Uh, you would still win a nice chunk of money, guys. So uh, something to consider. We'll see if this parlay can come through. Maybe we'll do something magical for the day. Maybe you guys will, you know, just get hammered and say, I'm putting $1,000 on the parlay. Um, Totally up to you guys. Bet responsibly. Have a nice day. Be responsible. Be safe. And if you want to actually start winning money, grab my premium. Link in the description, danspicks.net. Catch you guys in the next video.